She's a good one. We don't get too many of these here often. I've never had one. Is it in color? Yeah, it's got all three, red, blue, green. I don't think I can afford it. Well, it's your lucky day. This beauty is on sale for just one day only. Really? Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Great. Let me get this for you. Come on. <laughs> She's a heavy gal. <laughs> it looks like it. Haven't I seen you someplace before? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's a pretty small town. Yeah. I've seen you at church. You're Diana, right? Yes, though. Do I know you? Oh, no, I just heard your name come up with some friends. At the church? Um... How... how do I... How much is this again? Oh, my... How could I forget? You have... you need an antenna? This is just a heavy paperweight without an antenna. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll throw in the antenna for free on me because I want you to watch everything this puppy has to offer. Thank you. You're so kind. Now let's move inside to see what has been happening. Here is a side view of the abdominal cavity in the upper part of the leg. Notice the distended abdomen with the navel in its normally popped out state. The bladder and rectum have been squeezed aside by the uterus or womb containing the baby and by the vagina through which he will be born. Now labor, as it is called, is the work your body does in easing the baby out. Two sets of muscles are primarily involved in labor. The long muscles, called longitudinal, extending from top to bottom. The Hello? Hi, honey. What are you up the to? Neck of the uterus and have held the uterus closed or oh, hi, Mom. So during pregnancy. The long I'm just watching some television. Work during labor. Television? When did you get a television? They move the baby down and out the opening surrounded by the sphincter muscles. I bought it earlier today, after church. You can't afford that. Who sold it to you? The man at the electronics store, he said it was on sale. You take it back right away. But mom, it keeps me busy, I like it. Okay, you can have it for the rest of the week, but that's it. You need to return it by Friday. Tightening around the opening, opposing the action of the long muscles as they contract and push the baby out. Too much television leads to nightmares and sin. Don't forget, Pastor Thomas is expecting However, us early tomorrow. Are normal and natural. And if you're confident and relaxed, the sphincter muscles I miss Pastor Malone. And gradually I know, open up dear. to let the baby through. He was so good for you. 
Hard to believe it's been a month since his accident. That's why it's really Pastor important Thomas could be just as helpful. Give him a chance. So you can be yeah. reasonably relaxed and take it as yeah. easy as you can. Just talk to him sometime. In any case, your father and I will pick you up around 5.30, okay? The doctor has learned all he needs okay. To know concerning you and the I'll baby. be ready. A nurse will Good night, Mom. Your pubic hair and give you an enema Love you. Help clear the way for your baby's birth. And so you rest. A patient patient, so far as possible. You knit, perhaps, and the first stage of labor continues taking its own sweet time. And when a contraction comes along, you relax, Total letting the uterus the individual. have its way. What role do dreams play, not only in the immediate psychic economy of the human being, but in his life as a whole? So, your mother tells me you bought a television. Yeah, I don't get too many channels, but the ones I do get are good. Well, I hope it's educational. There's so much junk out there, utter junk. No wonder the world's in the shape it's in today. <laughs> You're right about that. I have been watching educational programs. Did you know that your heart and feet grow during pregnancy? Mom. Did your feet grow? Remember, take that thing back by Friday. But, but Mom... Listen to your mother, honey. We you know it'll go straight to your head. Together, every day, we are growing a garden. Moments in prayer, time spent with friends and family. These are the trees that we plant, guided by the hand of our Lord. Now, our community is special, but we are not perfect. In fact, our garden is overgrown with weeds. The media lies to us, and they threaten the very sanctitude of what it means to have a family and to raise our children in the light of Christ. It is therefore our responsibility to uproot fraud and to make way for goodness. Then, and only then, will our trees bear fruit. Please rise. Our service has ended. Go in peace. You guys can just leave without me. I would like to speak with Pastor Thomas. How are you getting home? I'll walk. I could use fresh air. Okay, but you make sure you call us as soon as you get home. I will. Right. Love you. I mean it, Diana. Don't forget to call. I won't. Well, the baby's head is moving through the mouth of the uterus. With each contraction, he will move down the birth canal a little farther. And at the same time, he will rotate to face your back. 
Hi, Pastor Tom, I'm Diana. Ah, uh, yes, the other Aylworth. I was actually just talking with your parents a few minutes ago. Lovely people. So, um, tell me, Diana, what did you think of today's service? Um, uh, the service was great. Pastor Malone would have approved. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Pastor Malone. Such a tragic loss. We all miss him. Um, Pastor Thomas, I was wondering if you had a minute to talk. Of course. Um, I just have one thing that I do need to take care of first, uh, and then I can meet with you right away. Why don't you go meet me in my office and wait for me there? It's actually Pastor Malone's old office. I know exactly where it is. Sorry for the wait. I had to make sure that the church organ cleaner had access to the sanctuary. So, what's in your mind? Well, actually, it's about Mary. Was she really Jesus' mom? I mean, his only parent? Well, um... Don't you already know this, Diana? I mean, well, I know what I was taught, but... Is there any evidence of a virgin birth? Well, I think that our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is pretty good evidence. I guess you're right. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think it's just a cramp. Um, I think I should get going. I'm not feeling very well. Well, can I maybe assist you in getting home or do anything? No, thank you. I think a walk will do me good. Hello, Dr. Bloom's office. How can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if Dr. Bloom had any openings today? Name and date of birth? Uh, Diana Elworth and 9-18-71. Okay, dear. Let me check the schedule. The doctor has a small window at 10.30. 10.30 would be perfect. What is your visit in regards to? Um, I think I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. I will let the doctor know. Thank you.
Go ahead and have a seat. We'll be with you in a few minutes. Diana? Hi, how are you? Good. Are you going to take your vitals? Diana, what brings you in to see us today? I thought the nurse heard you told you. Uh, I... I've been having some stomach pains lately. I think I'm pregnant. Ah, well, let's have a look then, shall we? So, uh, when was your last period? About a month ago. Have you been sexually active? No. No, I'm not allowed to date until I'm 30. My parents are old-fashioned, so... Oh, well, they might be onto something there. What people are allowed to do and what they actually do are often different. Ow! Do you feel that? I'm almost finished. All right, you can get up now. Diana, uh, based off our tests, we can find no sign that you are pregnant. No detectable HCG levels. HCG? Just think of it as a pregnancy hormone. Additionally, your answers to my questions would lead me to believe that you are not pregnant, not even in the slightest. So I guess my real question is, why are you here? There has to be some kind of mistake. I mean... Diana. You are not pregnant. Now, I know you see a psychologist. I do. Are you taking your medication? <laughs> of course I have. I would advise you to see your psychologist immediately. I'll give him a call later today. It's okay, Diana. We only want what's best for you. A visit to Dr. Klinger will do you some good. In any case, good luck, Diana. How are things at home, Diana? How are your parents? They're fine. More nosy than ever, but they're fine, I guess. I bought a television. What have you been watching? Just educational programs. Anything else? No. Um, I have had vivid dreams. I heard that can be caused by changes in hormone levels in early pregnancy. Well, tell me about these dreams, Diana. What happens in them?
weary. It's getting cold. Enjoy. Would you like seconds, dear? This is what you wanted, right? poison anymore. I won't.
Dr. Bloom's office. Oh, hi. Hi, is Dr. Is Dr. Bloom there? Well, this is Diana. I... Something okay, is wrong. Okay. Diana, hang up. Call 911 and I will inform Dr. Bloom. Diana, I can't believe I'm saying this. You are pregnant. I have no explanation at the moment. So it's a miracle. Well, modern science doesn't use that term. There's always some logical explanation. Is it a boy or a girl? We can't tell yet, but while you were sedated, we took an ultrasound of your stomach. Do you have a picture? He's beautiful. What? It's not a boy, Diana. It's... I told you we aren't sure yet. I just have a feeling. Well, we've gone ahead and contacted your parents, and they'll be here after church. I've written you a prescription for some prenatal vitamins and something to help with pain, and you could pick that up later. Won't that hurt the baby? No, no, these are safe. I'll schedule some follow-up appointments, and we'll be in touch, Diana. Mom, Dad. Yes, honey, it's us. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Did you guys hear the good news? We all know, dear. We all know. Doesn't he look perfect? Honey, are you taking your medication? Yes. Did uh, Dr. Klinger change the dosage? He did. He raised it. This isn't working, Diana. We can't count on you to take care of yourself anymore. I, I don't understand. I thought this was a good thing. You have no job, no husband, no social life, nothing. We support you. And you refuse to let anyone know how you got into this mess. Mess? It's a miracle. <laughs> if we'd known she'd grow up to be such a burden, we'd... You'd what? Nothing. You need to get your rest. Um, we have to leave now. 
The hospital will take you home soon. Wait, why can't you guys take me? We have church early in the morning. Again? Well, you'd be going with us if you weren't in such a state. Now you call us as soon as you get home. And do not watch television all night long. Finally comes a neuropsychiatric check, designed to bring out data related to the patient's mental disorder. They're turning my wife, you know, Betty, against me. They're taking up all her time. Why do you think they're doing you this way? Well, I've been working on this for years. They don't know it, but I'm on to them. You see? They can just get Betty to team up with them. And they all try to get together. Now these fruits, pear, grape, apple, all kinds, they are only as good as the trees that bear them. Consider our garden, Diana. The one we have strived so hard to cultivate. Imagine that there is a tree. And on that tree is a fruit that rots as quickly as it grows. Surely this is a false tree planted by the devil. We must uproot it. I'll call you Jude. Yeah. Jude.
this time. Jude. You will be loved by everyone. You're my little miracle. Mama's gonna buy you a diamond. 